Hello, let's deploy your Next.js app using Docker. So first, I went to the documentation of Next.js and I have this deploying section here. So I scroll down a little bit because I don't want to use Vercel. I want to just use Docker, so self-hosting and then Docker image. So I open this Docker image file here, example. And I'm going to use on my own website. So I have a website that's called Flip Nevelo. It's a public website. It's using Next.js. So I open here on my WebStorm and I just copy and paste the example. So I pay, copy this to my VS code here. Okay. So let's test locally. So I will build the image here. I call this image Philip Nevola next. So I'm going to build it and the file is, needs to be named like Docker file. So it's detected here. Okay, it's going to take a little bit more time in your machine because I had everything cached here, but it apply all the layers. It's just a standard like Next.js installation. The only part that I change is this part here because I was getting an error because of the image component. So I am installing the sharp here as well. And now I'm going to run this locally using Docker run. And let's see in the browser, it looks good. This is my website. If you compare my website here, it's exactly the same. Okay. So it's working well. And we have a Docker image that's called Philip Nebula next. And I also have this Docker file on my repo. But now, how can I make this available in the internet? So one option to deploy online is to use ZCloud. So I'm going to click here. It's going to select my organization and the repo is called Philip Neville, the repo that I just showed you. We don't need a lot of resource, so just like this much. And I'm going to put the app name like website and that could be my test environment. I can deploy anywhere, I deploy to the United States in this case this branch and zcloud detect that's a next.js application we can also customize this docker file content for example i'm using the image component so i want to also install the sharp dependence so i'm going to add it here and i'm going to change this to have npm install sharp and that's it so now i can deploy i don't need any environment variables but if i have like a build step using the environment variable to generate static page for example i could click here and put the credentials that i need but i don't have this so i'm going to click in deploy now the same process that we did in our machine it's going to happen in the cloud it's going to build the image the docker image for us it's really fast so you can see it already almost done done now it's starting our containers for us so it's getting this image and putting a container in the cloud and that's it so if i click here i can see the same application here as well and actually my production website is also running in the cloud so it's exactly the same setup that i'm using in production I can go here to see my environment details. I can see everything's working, no warnings here. And that's basically it. So that's a very easy way for you to go live if you're not Next.js application using Docker. And if you want, you can go to the host tab here and you can put the CNAME to this ingress. So you have your custom domain. Otherwise you can use like just this domain here. And it's going to be fine as well if you just want to test a Next.js application running online. That's it. I hope you learned like how to, where I get the Docker file. It was from the official documentation. Then you can test locally with the Docker file. You can also use the preset that is going to be detected automatically for you on ZCloud. And you can also customize if you want, like I did to install another dependency for the image components. And that's it. Hope to see you soon. Bye.